Hey y'all, today I'm sharing my meal ideas for October. <laughs> this does not always go to plan and sometimes I just go to like family favorites really fast and easy because sometimes life happens. But I like to have some type of idea. I have this goal where I'd like to try at least one new recipe a week. So that helps a lot with this. And this month is filled with lots of new recipes. <laughs> I was sick last week and I was on Instagram as I was listening to my audiobooks and the algorithm <laughs> really hit it right. And I was finding all kinds of really good recipes. So we are have a lot of new ones on here. I don't know if we will get to all of them this month, but there were a lot of them that sounded really good. So the first thing that I seen that it was like right up my alley was a bacon mushroom and Swiss meatloaf. I have never had anything like this. Um, so I, I love mushroom and Swiss. It's one of my favorites. Um, so I thought that would be really good to have it like that and super easy as um, a, a meatloaf. So I did this wrong. So I'm just going to have to <laughs> squeeze it in here. I don't know. Maybe I should just go out to the side. I'm going to go out to the side. I am not a perfectionist, so I will like go all over the place, but to me, it's better to have some idea and it not be perfect. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. So um, Swiss cheese meatloaf. And then also I seen a new recipe for carrot rice. I have never had anything like this before and they must really love this recipe because they had um, had it like engraved on a, a wooden cutting board. So I'm hoping that is a really good recipe. So I thought that would be good to try with that. Um, something else that I seen was a cheesy Italian sausage orzo. So this looked super good. Um, I love all these like cheesy, creamy <laughs> dishes and a lot that would be like really easy too because it's like one pot kind of thing. So I thought that would be really good. Um, so we'll do orzo with that. I love the orzo pasta and also a trick I'm doing instead of buying the orzo, I have a lot of spaghetti noodles that I'm trying to get through. So I just like break them up into little bitty pieces to where they're about that size and it ends up working to where they cook about the same amount of time. So it works out perfect for me and I'm getting through all of those spaghetti noodles. Um, and then we'll also have some type of vegetable. Um, I'm not sure if I'm just gonna like roast some on the pan. I uh, have some canned vegetables that I would like to uh, work through. And I was like doing some research trying to figure out different ways to use canned vegetables and I found like a couple of different ideas. So I'm, I'm gonna be trying those out and seeing <laughs> what I can figure out. I usually just kind of do classic like butter and some type of different like seasoned salt. We make our own homemade seasoning or like Lowry's or different things like that to change it up. But I found some other ideas that I think might be really good too. So we're gonna be giving those a try this month as well. And something that that's kind of like a, a like a family favorite but I would change it up just a little bit is fiesta chicken so I, I don't know if y'all ever had the um, fiesta chicken ranch packet I'm not sure if that's what they were gonna use here but I think that's what I'm gonna use um, so they had the fiesta chicken tater tot casserole so I thought that was kind of a neat take on that I think the family would like that an awful lot and I seen to like I am like I said I'm not a perfectionist so usually I just like throw uh, the tater tots on top but they had it like in this swirl and made it look so nice so maybe I'll spend the time and make it look really nice because it was really awesome the way they did it um, and then we'll just go ahead and do vegetables I'll probably just do like um, I don't know like since it's a fiesta chicken kind of like taco -y flavor may throw like some corn maybe even uh, some black beans in there I don't know we'll see but that's kind of what I was thinking on that one and it'll just be like a one pot thing um, next up I think we're gonna try and make fish sandwiches I was trying to think of um, different things to do with the fish that we have why did I write that <laughs> I struggle so much to write sometimes I'm sorry okay so fish sandwiches and I am trying to perfect brioche buns. They take a lot longer than my uh, favorite pretzel bun recipe, but um, I, I'm still trying. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep giving this a try because they are really, really good. Um, and then I was thinking with that to do ranch glazed carrots. That looked really good too. This was again, another thing I had found on Instagram <laughs> that looked really good. Um, 
after that we were thinking of trying to do beef nachos and you can change the protein up with these i try and break it up to where we're having um beef chicken pork and fish try and get that in at least once a week so that's what i do here um but and then you can also do meatless if that's the way you are too but however works for you but i just try and add some variety and also probably get all more vitamins and <laughs> nutrients from your food if you kind of have some variety is the way i look at it okay so we're gonna have beef nachos and i had seen again instagram <laughs> i had seen a recipe for white queso um that looked super good so i'm gonna give that a try and uh we'll just do some type of vegetable like i said i've got some canned vegetables like corn and um, I'm not really sure what we'll do we'll probably throw some type of bean on it black bean or something like that and that's how we'll have that um another recipe I seen um was a spicy sausage so let's write that spicy sausage <laughs> Uh, this was sour cream pasta. Now, I love to add different things into my pasta. I make a sour cream enchilada sauce with my tacos or like my enchiladas a lot. So, I don't know that I've ever tried it in sauce like it with my mac and cheese. I always put in cream cheese. So, I was really interested in trying that. So, um, I think we're going to do that. So, sour cream pasta and then they also put spinach in there so i thought that would be good um to add so and that's like an easy like one pot dish so <laughs> that would be wonderful uh then another thing i seen that was like an easy one pan dish um was a dump and bake chicken uh tzatziki so i thought that was kind of cool um uh, most of the time I've never actually, now that I think of it, I've never seen a tzatziki that was a sheet pan, but it seems relatively easy enough to do that. So um, what I'll probably do is season up the chicken. I have a Greek seasoning that I make, um, so I'll probably do that. And maybe what I was thinking is maybe uh, add in the tzatziki sauce at some point. I'm not sure if that would do well cooking or not, but uh, add that in and then just kind of mix it all together. So think that would be really really fun to try I had even seen um, where someone had done that something similar and they did it all in little bowls and like individual bowls so like you didn't even have to portion anything out I thought that was really cool too but it to me it's just as easy to plate it up into a bowl than to have the bowls bake so I just went ahead and just gonna I'm gonna do a pan meal like that but I thought that was really interesting to do it like that and we'll have that with rice and uh, some type of vegetable I'm not really sure what we'll do with that we may have a salad um, I, I don't know we'll, we'll figure it out that night um the next thing I was thinking of doing is blackened fish thought that would be good to try we haven't had that in a while and I always like to change up the seasoning recipes too um what was it it was Popeyes they have that blackened ranch I've been wanting to try and recreate that too I've yet to get to that point but I would love to try and recreate that too I love like blackened things <laughs> it's really good um so what I was thinking on this one is to have some type of vegetable maybe like green beans or something like that and um i seen a recipe for a panera mac and cheese so I, I have my normal mac and cheese but i thought hey that might be fun to change it up here and i've never had like panera mac and cheese so i don't know if it's any good or not but i thought it might be worth a try to change it up and that way you feel like you're not having the same thing all the time and i'll probably have that with our cheddar garlic biscuits this is a members only video if you'd like to check that out and join our members only we have several recipe videos on there and we'll be doing like live streams and things like that um so we have that um another easy like one pot meal i have is chili cheese let's see what was it chili cheese uh pasta okay so that's easy <laughs> so uh i think what i'll probably do with this is beef is what i was thinking and just kind of it's basically 
almost like chili mac it looked like so super super easy with that and I'll probably have some type of vegetable probably just since it's like chili maybe put some corn or something in there and definitely beans so we'll have all that in there and then another new recipe I found and this one was actually on Pinterest instead of Instagram it was brown sugar pork chops I, that sounded super good we love brown sugar and like maple and all that stuff. I may throw a little bit of that in there too. Um, so we'll do that. Brown sugar pork chops. And I have seen recently this uh, viral video going around about dense bean salad. And she abbreviates it uh, like this. And I thought it might be fun to try some type of variation like that. I think this would probably be really good to have even as a snack, but she puts all kinds of, um, usually two different kinds of beans, some type of vegetable, and some type of protein, and she uh, basically just mixes it all together, oh, and some type of dressing too. So there's like a lot of different variations, I gotta figure out what would go best with this, but I thought that would be fun um, to have as a side and then I'm sure it makes a lot and then we can just kind of have that as like a little snack. I thought that might be good to try. I really like like beans and things like that so I think I would really like that an awful lot. And I, if y'all have tried that by the way too, let me know uh, what your favorite is because there are so many variations of that. I am kind of overwhelmed so if y'all have a favorite I would really appreciate that if y'all left that down in the comments below. The next thing I was thinking of doing is a mozzarella top chicken. Um, why do I always spell this wrong? <laughs> okay, um, mozzarella top chicken. So this is kind of like, almost like a lot of people do Parmesan chicken, I guess, a little bit in a way. Uh, so we'll do that. And what else were we gonna have with that? Um, oh yes, this was gonna have the pesto orzo. So I'll probably do my spaghetti noodles again, but uh, we'll have that for a side. I've, I've made orzo like many different ways, but I've never done the pesto. So I thought that was really interesting. And again, we'll have some type of vegetable with that. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do. Um, another new thing that I seen that looked really interesting and like kind of different than what we normally have was a Mediterranean baked fish. I thought that would be really cool. It had like olives and stuff and it looked so good. Um, so I'm going to give that a try. Am I spelling this right? <laughs> I don't think so. Y'all, I'm so sorry. It is so, I know it, it probably is hard to understand, but it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. So um, Mediterranean baked fish. There we go. And um, it's going to have, like I said, it's got like olives and all kinds of other stuff in it. And you literally just bake it. It's kind of like a sheet pan. You bake all together. So um, I think we'll try that, hopefully. Um, another thing that I would like to work on trying to perfect, we have certain recipes, especially like Asian dishes, that um, we like to try and make as close to like the takeout place <laughs> as possible and this one I think we probably are really close we have like a brown sauce stuff that's really good so I think this will be really close but um I was thinking to do beef and broccoli um and what I was thinking of doing is doing fried rice but um with lots of vegetables um or we may end up uh, just doing noodles and just using that same brown sauce with the vegetables in there too. Um, so I'm not sure. We'll we'll change it up if we feel like it. But I, either way, I think we'll be really good. It's just I'll need more sauce if I end up going the noodle route. But I think we're really really close to getting that recipe perfected. So I'm super excited about that. Um, next up is kind of like a normal one that we usually have a lot. We have, or not a lot, at least once a month. Breakfast sandwiches. Um, so we'll do that. And then I'll I always make our homemade English muffins. Those are super, super good. And they freeze really well. And then I think for a side, we're just going to have hash browns. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. And then, uh... Another recipe that I was thinking of trying, and I'm trying to remember if I've made this or not, I cannot remember, but I know it's like super, super popular. It's called Marry Me Chicken, so I thought that would be fun to try. I think it's kind of like a creamy sauce, if I'm not mistaken, 
Um, but this one is a pasta, so super easy. <laughs> and also, I just figured we would either have like roasted vegetables or vegetables in the pasta. I'm not sure exactly how we'll do that. Probably just put it in the pasta and have like almost like a little bowl. I think that would be really nice. Um, let's see. Another thing that I have wanted to try, I wanted to get to this last year, and I did not. I have always wanted to try fig, um, like fig jam on fish. So, um, it's, this is fig glazed fish. So, I thought that would, whoo, I cannot spell. <laughs> um, I thought that would be really good. Um, I, like I said, I have wanted to try this, um, and I, it's super easy, you know, you just get a little bit of jam and put it over the top and bake it. So super, super easy. And we'll have that with roasted vegetables. And let's see, I think we'll probably do rolls. I have um, on my like 101 goals list, I have where I want to try and make rolls into different shapes and <laughs> really fun little things. So um, I'm going to try and do that. Last year I made the little pumpkins and they were super cute. So I'm hoping I can do that again. And I have a couple other ones I really want to try too. And I think that'll be really fun. So hopefully we'll be able to get to that. I have rolls on here a few times. So hopefully we'll get that done. Um, then we're going to have our beef enchiladas. And like I was saying before, if you don't have this type of protein, you can always swap it out. We do chicken quite frequently with this too, and it's great. Um, and then we're going to have that with our sour cream sauce. I love this sauce. It's my most favorite. I have been, actually now that I think about it, I have been making this sour cream sauce recipe for over a decade. <laughs> That's crazy to think. And I was seeing something the other day too, speaking of time going by so fast next year it will be a quarter of a century into this new millennia it's just like mind-blowing <laughs> i can't believe that no okay we're gonna move on because i feel old the more i think about that <laughs> okay so another new recipe i found i tell you instagram sucked me in here i found a southern what was it southern okay this is going to be a tongue twister <laughs> let's see if i can do it southern smothered pork chops so um, that was really good. It's kind of like a creamy sauce that looked really good. And let's see, what was I thinking to have with that? Oh yes, I thought it would be good to have scallop potatoes. Um, and then we'll just do rolls as well. Okay, so there we go. That one, kind of like your classic southern dish there. I thought that would be really good. Um, let's see, another one before, before it feels like a full on winter, I would like to have a Hawaiian chicken. I've been trying to uh, figure out exactly how I like this. I love uh, chicken and pineapple, especially pineapple. So I think this would be really fun to do. Um, like I said, I'm still trying to work on the sauce exactly for that. And something, uh, I, a new recipe I had seen to use up like the canned vegetables was to make blackened corn. And I thought that might, might be good with this. So um, I'm gonna try using like the canned corn and that seasoning and see how we like it. Uh, let's see, after that, I think we'll try and make seafood pasta. I love this, this is one of my favorite meals. It's kind of like a, alfredo-y kind of sauce that we make with it um, and then we'll just have some type of vegetables and we'll probably just throw it all in together and have some type of bowl with it um after that I was thinking we could do shepherd's pie um, this is super easy you just basically almost like a pot pie you just throw your meat and vegetables all in there some type of creamy sauce and then you put uh, like mashed potatoes on top so it is super easy to make and really yummy so I think we'll do that and some people I think if you put cheese on it it's technically called a cottage pie if I'm not mistaken so I don't know how we'll make it it may be shepherd's pie and it may be cottage pie if I have that correct um, then something else that I have yet to get anywhere close <laughs> to nailing down the recipe for the sauce is sweet and sour pork. So I'm going to try another recipe or <laughs> try and create something and, um, try and work on that because that is another sauce that I would like to have, but I'm, I'm kind of pretty far away on. Um, let's see, sweet and sour pork, and then also I was thinking on that, with that, to have like fried rice, 
And again, I may change it up and just do noodles, but then I'd have to make two sauces because I would probably put the brown sauce on it. So I'm probably sticking with fried rice on this one. <laughs> and then also we'll have the vegetables. So yeah, I think I'll definitely do fried rice on this one. And if I want to do the noodles, do it on the other one because that the sauce, it's not hard to do and hard to make, but it uses a lot of dishes and I don't think I would have enough of dishes to do that. Okay, so another thing I found that I had one family member in mind that I think they would really like this. I actually gave this to them as an option for their birthday dinner, but they decided on something else was Alfredo chicken calzones. That sounded really unique. I've, I've never made calzones this way, so I think that they would really like that. And what I do with the calzones is I just use my pizza crust recipe. It's super easy. I think that recipe is when we did the pizza roses. Um, I just use that and uh, flatten it out kind of like we did with the roses. And then you can just stuff them and crimp the edges. So it's really easy to do. Um, let's see. What are we going to do? I was thinking of doing salad. That's right. I don't know if my lettuce and everything will be big enough to have salad. I'm really behind with that. I got sick and I'm almost like a month behind because I had everything started but I didn't like transplant it out like I should. Right now they're outside hardening off which may not have been the worst thing because we did have some really really hot days so in the long run it may not have hurt me but I still kind of feel like I'm behind but hopefully we'll have some fresh greens and stuff from the garden. Don't even have to get them from the store because that is so much cheaper like you can get a package of lettuce seeds. You can even go to the Dollar Tree and Dollar General. The Dollar General has my favorite brands and get a packet of seeds for a dollar and they'll last for years. And as long as you have some soil and give them a little bit of water, they are super easy to grow. So I highly recommend that, but they do not like the heat. <laughs> so you can, if you live somewhere in the South, it's like the hardest thing to grow salad in the summer. There are a lot of people that struggle with that. Okay, so back to the menu here. Um, another thing we were gonna do is fish tacos. We haven't had that in a while. Um, and we'll just, I don't know what I'll do. I may do my uh, black bean and corn salsa with that. That's one of our favorites. Some people call this, um, what is it? Texas caviar. It's basically the same thing. So we might make that too. So and we really like it. And that kind of might even be considered in that dense bean salad because it's kind of got like beans and vegetables and stuff in it. I'm curious if they ever made one of those. <laughs> they might have. Okay, uh, next up is one of my favorite dishes, Salisbury steak. I love this. And what we generally do um, just to make it super easy is to buy the uh, hamburger patties for us it's cheaper to buy like the big box of hamburger patties than it is to buy like ground beef so um we do that and then we make like the gravy to go on it and it's delicious so we were gonna have like <laughs> the classic uh southern dish here uh salisbury steak smashed potatoes i think is what i was gonna do with it um this is where i do uh like I bake the potatoes. You can either bake them in the oven. We don't. We use our air fryer, or you can use the instant pot. Both of them work great. Um, and what I do is, once they're all baked, I literally smash them down and then add like uh, sour cream and cheese and those types of things, and it's amazing. <laughs> so it is one of our favorites. We were really on a potato kick here for too long, or not too long ago, especially whenever we had all the potatoes come, that we got from the garden. They were the best ever. <laughs> we have almost worked through all of those. We have just a few left. Um, let's see, and I think we'll have rolls with that. Again, hopefully I'll be able to do the little cool uh, design and make them into different shapes. I think that would be super fun. Uh, the next thing is garlic butter fish. So, um, I'm trying to remember, I don't, I mean, we usually use buttered fish a lot, but I don't know that we necessarily always put garlic on it. We kind of use more seasoned salt. So I thought this would be a little different than what we normally do. Um, and what was I thinking? Okay. I was thinking of doing mac and cheese with this. I don't know, depending on if we like this Panera, uh, mac and cheese or our normal mac and cheese, what we'll do. Um, and then also we'll do the cheddar garlic biscuits and green beans, I think is what we'll do. There we go. I think that looks good. 
And then uh, after that, another one of my favorite meals, you can kind of tell <laughs> what I like, um, is beef stroganoff. So this is super easy. Um, again, what we do um, is use the hamburger patties because they're cheaper and cut them up almost like mini meatballs is what we do. And then um, well, after we do that, we just make the cream sauce and cook up the noodles and it's super, super easy. So I love this meal. It's actually um, probably done in is it 20 minutes or less I would say so it is pretty fast so this is kind of one of my go-to fast meals <laughs> uh, then after that oh also with that we'll have some type of roasted vegetable I don't think I'll put it in the stroganoff I'll just probably have it on the side I think that would be better for me anyways <laughs> Um, then another thing I had seen, I've never seen it like this, like I love jalapeno popper stuff, so, um, I love to try things like that, so, um, we're gonna do that, but I usually do it with, like, chicken or something like that, but they did it with a pork loin, so I thought that was interesting, I'd like to give that a try. Um, I don't know. I'm on the fence as to what would go good for a side with that. So if y'all have any suggestions, <laughs> but, um, I'm just going to leave that blank because I am really not sure what would go good with that. Okay. Um, next up I have orange glazed chicken meatballs. So, um, I thought this would be really neat. Like I have a really good orange sauce, like, um, uh, Asian sauce so I think we'll use that but I usually just uh, use like fried chicken or something like that we're trying to do a little bit healthier so um, I figured we'll try the chicken meatballs we'll just probably make those homemade um, and then I was thinking of having I've seen a recipe for a side with carrots and sweet peppers I thought that might go good with that too so we'll give that a try and let's see, uh, fish cakes, that's another thing I had seen that would be good. I have quite a bit of fish to you to work through and it's super easy. You just uh, shred it up and make little, make little patties out of it with breadcrumbs or whatever it is that you like to use. Um, and then I think we'll have those on our pretzel buns. And let's see, uh, Cheddar Ranch Potatoes is what I was thinking. I haven't made these in a while. I really love these. We put lots of cheese <laughs> and not a ton of ranch, but quite a bit. So, um, I, but lots and lots of cheese and they are super, super delicious. And I must have missed a recipe somewhere. Oh yes. Other things I was thinking of doing is our um, smoke or our pulled pork sandwiches. Um, I love to do this. We try and have this a lot more, especially in the fall and winter. Um, sometimes the winter isn't the best because it kind of throws the smoker off, but we really love this. Um, so we'll have pulled, we throw all this in the smoker at once. This cooks for like overnight and into the next day, and then we'll cook the chicken later too. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll have next is the smoked chicken. But uh, let's see, so we'll do the sandwiches, and I'm still on the fence about this brioche bread. So we'll do brioche, or I'd also seen some bagel bread, um, so I might change that into buns. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and then I think we'll just keep it simple and do fries. And then the last thing, would, since we're going to throw all that in the smoker, is the smoked chicken. And I think we'll just do this kind of more uh, more classic. So like uh, mashed taters, green beans, and rolls. So super easy. Mashed taters, green beans, and rolls. Okay, so that's kind of my ideas for dinners. Um, most of this is new recipes that, I, that looked super, super good. I can't believe how sucked into Instagram I got when I was sick. It was quite hilarious. <laughs> Um, for dessert, we had went to Casey's and they had a, what did they call them? I think they did call them peanut butter crispy bites and those were so good. 
Um, I came home after we had that and tried to find something similar as a recipe and I found it. So I want to try and recreate that. That looked so, those were so good and the recipe looked just like what it was at Casey's. So I would like to give that a try and hopefully <laughs> nail that down too because that was super, super good. Um, another thing that looked really good, um, again on Instagram, <laughs> is a cinnamon roll uh, coffee cake. So I would like to try that. I have, I try so many coffee cakes in the fall. It's crazy how, how many different uh, kinds there are. You could do like blueberry and I mean, it's just endless the ideas you can do. But uh, that's what I was thinking of trying there. Um, since I need to work through all of my pumpkins, I was thinking it would be good to make something with that. And I was, had seen this recipe for pumpkin bars so um we'll try that and uh it had a cream cheese frosting so we'll have that with it as well and let's see after that um something else i had seen that looked so delicious <laughs> this is another thing right up my alley okay it's kind of like this long name okay so stick with me it's, they tried to make it fancier than it I think it needed to be but it sounds super delicious so brown butter and if y'all didn't know brown butter is super easy to do just cook it in a pan over like medium to medium high heat for like less than five minutes and it generally turns literally the butter just turns brown but it adds it really does add a lot of flavor um, so it was brown butter cream cheese <laughs> so we're getting even better uh, cream cheese, uh, what was it? Oh yes, snickerdoodle, and I couldn't believe this whenever we got to the next part. It's a snickerdoodle cobbler. <laughs> so I was like, oh my goodness, I so want to try this. So I am really, really looking forward to that. And I had found also a vintage recipe that looked really interesting. I think they said it was from like the 1920s. And it was called hot milk cake. I cannot spell why did I do that <laughs> there we go hot milk cake um, and then I was thinking of trying to have like little things for snacks and I stumbled upon uh, this woman that makes what she calls them oat cups and it's basically these little uh, cups you can either use whole oats um, probably want to use like quick oats or you could use oat flour and you make like in your muffin tin you make little cups and she makes lots of different variations so um, I'm gonna leave a little bit more of a space since these are more snacks um, so she had several different variations and one of them was a pumpkin so I thought that might be neat since I'm gonna be processing the pumpkins um, she had a chocolate chip which um, I am all about chocolate, so I would love that. Uh, she also had uh, M&Ms, and then I got to thinking she had like some peanut butter ones too, and I thought, you know, it might be good to have some like Reese's Pieces in it too. So I'm going to play around with uh, these recipes this month and see if that's like a good snack option. It's kind of a different variation, a lot of the same ingredients, but different than like the energy balls, and I just thought it might be fun to play around and see if we can come up with I may completely veer off and make even more healthier ones instead of the M&Ms and Reese's, but I thought it would be something fun to have as a snack, and it almost could use it, like, too, like, um, the, what are they called, like, the breakfast bars, too, with the oats and stuff in them. So we, they might kind of replace that too. So that's just an idea. But this is everything that I was thinking of trying to do for our October meals. Hopefully this helps someone. Thank y'all all so much for spending time with me today. <laughs> I hope these recipes are good because I really did get sucked into Instagram. <laughs> so um, thank y'all all so much. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.